Blake Griffin is scheduled to meet Saturday with the Suns. Phoenix can offer Griffin four years, 130 mil, while the Clippers, of course, can offer five for 202 dollars a side. Do the Suns make sense for Blake? He must want to play golf in Scottsdale. Is that why he's <laughs> taking a trip? No, they don't make sense. I'll take sense. it as a no. No, they don't make sense. I mean, money-wise, I, I think Golden, even though he's not eligible to get the Supermax deal uh, with the Clippers, uh, money-wise, the Clippers obviously can still offer him the most money. I, I said this yesterday when we talked about what would be the fallout for the Clippers in terms of keeping Blake Griffin. Me, personally, you know how I feel. I think the Clippers... If you're the Clippers, you're rooting for him to love the Suns. You should be. Well, Ramona Shelburne says that he has strong interest in the Suns, for whatever that's worth. Okay. Uh, again, if you're the Clippers, I hope that's true. Uh, and that's <laughs> not something that's just being floated out there. Because at this point and at this stage in his career, for the Clippers, it doesn't make sense to continue to build around Blake Griffin. It makes sense to just blow it all up, start from scratch. And, yes, I know for Clippers fans, it's hard to think about and contemplate going back to being irrelevant. But sometimes you have to do something. You have to make a hard choice in order to get where you want to go faster. Okay, so you're saying for the Clippers' sake, he just needs to go somewhere. But for his sake, you wouldn't necessarily put the Suns at the top of the list. No. That roster kind of intrigues me. Because, okay, first of all. Intriguing let, is one word. Eric Bledsoe, Brandon right? Knight. Devin Booker, yeah. Devin Booker, uh, Chris, TJ Warren. I mean, look, you know, if you want a fresh start, if you're Blake Griffin, let's say you want a fresh start. Wouldn't you want that in Oklahoma City, though? Or Boston, for that matter. Mm -hmm. But Phoenix can be comfortable in many respects. They may, he may be a piece that allows them to contend for a playoff spot, not a championship, but a playoff spot. And Phoenix is a very nice place. Maybe he wants to stay out west. Maybe he likes the culture. Many a player is awesome. has, has gone to very Phoenix good, uh, in their there. careers <laughs> because of, uh, of that organization. So maybe he likes it. He likes the young group around him. It's not a bad look for him. No, Especially it, it, if you – look – Underrated playmaker, though he is, okay, because he's a good passer, mm -hmm. all right? Everybody talks about his high-flying dunks or whatever. He's a really good passer and showed that when Chris Paul was out. Maybe he doesn't want to be the one to have to bear the burden of continuing whatever the Clippers are, and he's like, you know what? As much as I couldn't stand CP3, he's out the door. We're not as good. Yes, it's less money, but I might as well go ahead and hit the reset button on my career, go somewhere where I'll be embraced as opposed to having this intense spotlight. Well, if he's going to hit the reset button, it makes a whole lot more sense to hit the reset button with a serious contender. Which comes with expectations, of mm -hmm. course.